So you're wondering what Google Apps Script is? Well, then you've come to the right place. I'm Chanel Greco from Saperis, and in this video, I'll show you what Google Apps Script is and how to use it. So what is this Google Apps Script that we use to write these scripts? It's a JavaScript-based environment, scripting environment, or programming language, and it lives inside G Suite. You can read and write data with Google Apps Script to a Google Docs or a Google Sheets, Google Slides, and a lot of the other tools or apps that make up Google's G Suite. You can add custom menus, sidebars, or even add-ons. As a matter of fact, a lot of the plugins that you use in your day-to-day -day work in Google Chrome were written with Google Apps Script. You can get data from outside sources and write it to Google Sheets. Think of automatically getting data, let's say from your YouTube channel, the stats on a specific video and having it written into Google Sheets for you all by just clicking on a button and um, yeah, the script doing the work for you. You can automate different tasks. Um, another possibility would be to send out a bulk email. Let's say you're tracking the, the sales numbers of your team, and as soon as they um, you know, reach their milestones or their targets, then you could send out automatically an email congratulating them for their good work that they've been doing, giving, granting. You know what I mean. And many other things that you can do with Google Apps Script. Now, Google Apps Scripts are written in what is called the Google Script Editor. This is nothing that you have to install because this already lives in your browser if you have a Google uh, G Suite account. And the scripts themselves, they live inside your Google Drive, they compile inside your drive, and they also run inside your Google Drive. So also here, no need to install any, um, you know, development environment or anything like that because you know Google Apps Script wasn't created for developers it's actually for users like you and me who just want to go ahead and automate some of their tasks in G Suite or in Google Sheets so all you actually need is a Google account so you might be saying well what can I do with Google Apps Script you know what why don't you follow me over to developers.google.com slash G Suite slash solutions. And this, what you see here is the solutions gallery. So you can scroll down and have a look at this. Um, I mentioned before sending out bulk emails where well, there you go, create a mail merge using Gmail and Google Sheets. And here there's actually a template that you can reuse. So all you have to do, and this is something you will very well be capable after this course is go ahead, copy the template, and then just you know, customize it, add columns, delete columns, um, whatnot in it. This is something you definitely will be able to do after this course. So this might be an, an interesting starting point for you just to get an idea of the things you can actually do with Google Apps Script. Now, where do you write Google Apps Script? As I said, there's no need to install anything on your computer. I've actually fired up a new Google Sheets document. You see it's blank. It just lives on my My Drive. Now, if I wanted to write some Google Apps Script, I click on Tools, Script Editor, and this starts up the Script Editor. There you go. And um, let's just demonstrate this logger log. And you know, you can go ahead and try this out with me. Um, here you go, Google App Script. I don't know, something like that. And I'm going to save this. Yep, let's give it the name of demo. And once I've saved it, I can hit run. And now it's going to go ahead and execute whatever I defined here and what I execute or what I've defined, uh, defined is that it's going to output, here you go, to the logger. So the logger is kind of like, 
how should I put this? It's kind of like a place where you can lock things out if you want to go and, and, and check if something's running correctly. So I'll often use the locker when I'm writing an automation script just to see after I've added something if it's still working correctly. So let's have a look at it. View, then the locks, and there you go. Here you go, Google Apps Script. That's what I defined before. So you see, it's really simple. What you just saw was the introduction video to my Google Sheets automation online course. If you're interested in learning how to automate Google Sheets documents, workflows, and processes, head over to courses.subparis.io for more information. And while you're still on YouTube, why don't you go ahead and check out my other Google Apps Script video tutorials that I've created. And would you mind hitting the subscribe button below? Because every week I publish new video tutorials about Google Apps Script, but also about the other tools that are part of Google's G Suite. And I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of those videos.